All right, welcome back, folks. Final segment of the show before we hand it off to, of course, Yankee baseball. Susan Waldman, John Sterling with the call as they start a set with the uh, Royals, Felipe Paulino and Hiraki Kuroda on the mound. 7.05 first pitch. Pre-game will start at 6.30. And as you know, we do carry the Nova, Nova Southeastern's Sharks report every Sunday at 8.30. We carry the Nova Southeastern basketball games here. So it's a partnership, and we're very proud to be uh, obviously partnered up with Nova Southeastern University and very proud that our local team also has brought home two titles on the men's and women's side, on the golf side. And Garrett Reunion, of course, who is the head coach for the men, is kind enough to join us here along with Amanda Brown, also the head coach for the ladies' golf team. And and, and the and the sweet part is that Amanda used to be a player on Nova Southeastern. Now she's leading them to their fourth national title and the men picking up their first overall, which is a great feat. Garrett and Amanda, kind enough to join us now on the show. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing there? Doing great. Doing Thanks great. for having us on. Oh, it's it's a pleasure to have you guys on. And by the way, you can follow Sharks Golf on Twitter at NSU Sharks Golf. That's at, at NSU Sharks Golf. And uh, so let's let's start off first with uh, Amanda. Amanda, this is an amazing feat for you guys. This is your fourth title now, and apparently going into. Uh, into the competition, you uh, you guys had uh, some stiff competition from Florida Southern, and Abby Giddings kind of led the way for you guys. Yes, yeah, so that's right. Florida Southern is a really strong team. They've, they've beaten us um, three or four times in the whole season, actually beat us at regionals, uh, the tournament, right before nationals. So we knew we had to show up and play great to beat them, and uh, fortunately we were able to do that. Abby, of course, leading the way the whole time. Uh, she was the only returning athlete that um, had played in the last three nationals. So everyone else was new on our team. And uh, with such a young team like that, having her leadership was, was key to our win. And and Giddings, by the way, was uh, named the NGCA Ping Division II National Player of the Year. She's the fifth straight National Player of the Year for NSU. And also Liliana uh, Camisa, if I'm if I'm correct how I pronounced it, uh, was named yes. National Freshman of the Year as well. Uh, how do you deal with the expectations now? Because if if you don't come away with a national title, Amanda, we're we're kind of disappointed from here on out. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I felt uh, I felt this year was a uh, really stressful, and a, um, even though we had this was definitely a rebuilding year for us, um, I definitely felt we had the talent on the team to win nationals again. Even though it would be the most challenging win, I think of all four, uh, because they are so young, um, and and we ended up actually doing it uh, with only four players. So uh, and, and it was incredible and uh, very exciting for us. That's a that's a hell of a feat. You're in a rebuilding year and you win a national title. That's impressive. Yes, um, <laughs> so unexpected. so that means next year's trophy we need to already engrave Nova Southeastern because you're not rebuilding anymore, right? I don't think so. Our top three, <laughs> the, the, the yeah, the top the top three girls in the nation are on our team and they're returning. So and I actually think we've we've already signed another national freshman of the year for next year uh, from Sweden. So I, I think we're going to be really strong. Garrett Runyon, of course, is the head coach on the men's side, and they win their first national title. Now, Garrett, you, of course, coach, you have a lot of pressure uh, from Amanda. Now, you know, she's kind of set the standard, and now you're following it. Absolutely, Big O. Um, you know, our guys are are happy for the girls the last few years when they've won the national championship, but they definitely wanted to get uh, their own. They were kind of sick of hearing how good the girls were, how good this, and, and they are like, you know, we're good, too. So, uh it was good to finally get that first national championship for the men's golf team and bring it back to Nova Southeastern. And by the way, the men's golf team captured their first national championship this Saturday on May 19th on the Par 72 Cardinal Club Golf Course in a five-day, six-round tournament, defeating Chico State in a head-to-head final match for a clean sweep, 5-0 to oh score. So, I mean, that's that's a dominating performance in the in the most important match. you got to love that, Coach. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it made it made it a lot less stressful that final day. Uh, actually, the second round, we, it came down to a tie, two and a half points to two and a half points, and they they did a tiebreaker by total score. 
um, and our freshman had shot 66 and beat his guy by six shots would help us advance to the final. So a lot of our guys felt like that second round was the national championship for us. And once we were able to get up during that final round against Chico, it was um, it was kind of a, a little we could we could breathe a little and enjoy it a little more. That's Garrett Runyon, of course, the head coach for the men's golf team at Nova Southeastern, and Amanda Brown, the head coach for the women's team. And by the way, today marks the first time in the 24-year history of NSU men's golf program that the Sharks can call themselves national champions. And this season also marked the eighth year in which the Sharks participated in the NCAA postseason competition. Let me ask you guys something, and each of you can can uh, answer this in quickly because we've only got about a minute left. The how how proud are you to set this kind of standard and the tradition that you guys are now setting here at Nova Southeastern for this golf tournament for the the golf uh, um, clubs for the men and the women's side. First, uh, Amanda. Oh, I'm extremely proud, and um, you know I, I think uh, us winning and now the the men having their first. Um, first national championship on the men's side at NSU. I hope that sets the stage for all the other men's uh, athletic teams, and I know that everyone else is starting to get a lot better, so um, I hope it sets the stage. Making recruiting a little easier for you, uh, Coach Runyon? It, it definitely helps when you've got that title under your belt, and um, and that's what we want. We want to we want to create a dynasty-like feel for our program, and and, you know, it's always the goal to win there, win the national championship. And, you know, we want to keep raising the bar until the standard is basically winning a national championship every year. Are we, are we going to have a battle of the sexes here? Can we, can we get the men against the women, the two champions against each other, have a little fun? We, we might sure. be able to do that during I'm practice and, and battle it out. I like that. I like I'm in. that. I'm already up. All right, there you go. I'm, re- I'm ready for the play-by-play, too. All right, Coach Runyon, Coach Brown, thank you very much for the time. And, again, congratulations for not only representing Nova Southeastern, but South Florida and, uh, and bringing home two championships. Thanks for having thank us you. on the Big O Show. You got it. Thank you very much. Follow NSU Sharks Golf on Twitter at NSU Sharks Golf. It's pretty damn impressive, folks.